Graduates, not only have you reached a milestone in your schooling career, you have done it during a year like no other. You can be so proud of your accomplishments. While this school year has been different than what you expected in grade 8, I hope that you will look back at your time at Byron Northview, whether it was short or long, and know that the friendships you have made here, the skills you have gained, the mistakes and lessons you learned from them, have all contributed to the journey you are on now. You are an amazing and talented group of graduates. It has been my pleasure to get to know you, to hear from your teachers, parents, and celebrate your unique personalities. In your own way, you have contributed to making Byron Northview a community that all learners can be proud to be part of. As we celebrate your accomplishment, I want you to know this. Not everything you have done in these past eight years in elementary school, nor the things that you will do as you move on to high school and beyond can be captured in a report card, a grade, a comment, or even an award. Regardless of what is on your report card, whether you received additional certificates or recognitions, you can all be proud of your own personal accomplishments. As you move forward through the ups and downs of high school and life, no matter where you land and what you do, remember you are all capable of success. I will end with a quote from a famous author. Do not go where the path may lead, go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. From what I have gotten to know about each one of you, I have no doubt that you can forge your own path. And as you do, remember, be yourself because you are wonderful. Parents and families, thank you for your support and entrusting us with your children each and every day. Teachers, thank you for being there to help our students along on their learning journey. Wishing you all the very best. Congratulations. Good evening, staff, parents, and guests. My name is Jacob, and I'm the chairperson for tonight's virtual graduation. The valedictory address is a very important part of our program this evening. Tonight, the grade 8 class will be represented by Maya Fortney to speak on their behalf. Please welcome our valedictorian. Good evening, Mr. Miskovich, Mrs. Merriman, staff, parents and guardians, and last but not least, fellow graduates and friends. To my fellow Bobcats out there, let me begin by saying congratulations. We will not be having a normal graduation this year. We will not be walking across the stage, receiving our diploma, or taking pictures with families and friends, but we're still graduating. As we finish our final days of grade 8, this may seem like the end of a story, a conclusion to the 10 years of work that I put into our elementary education. However, I see today as the end of a chapter and the start of a new one that will be opening up as we prepare for high school next year. Fortunately, Paige, let's take a look back at where it all began. We started kindergarten, it was like we were dropping into a whole new world, and speaking for many of us, we were terrified. Everything was so different from what we knew at home. There were all these strangers around us, we had to dress ourselves, and we fall straight line down the hallway with one hand on our hip and the other on our lip. Thank goodness we were resilient. We started figuring out our routines, new friendships formed, and we were building a foundation of knowledge. Looking back, we had it really easy in the beginning. We listened to stories, sang songs, we pictures for our moms and dads, played games, and went home each day full of excitement and exhaustion both at the same time. Then, a first grade hit. Adding and taking the numbers to create a new one, spelling new words only makes sense to us, printing on the line, everything on a hard time is more complicated. Yet, somehow, at such a young age, we adapted these changes and started taking on more responsibilities, like getting run around outside outside of the confines of the kindergarten year, and having a gym class add to our timetable. By the end of the primary grades, we got to know each other really well, so friends became stable and we could actually rely on one another. We were becoming more comfortable with the tests and the presentations, and then there was a dreadful grade 3 EQA in May. But we survived. After all, we were not the champions of the primary grades. We thought we had it all figured out, and it was smooth sailing, but it turned out we were wrong. Eventually, we went to the junior grades, and it was like going back to square one. New teachers, more rules, hiding above up our work, Number talks, and we don't even pour pop without sinks or washrooms. It's like Will Smith, the Fresh Prince, once said, life is both turned upside down. Luckily, we were able to make sense of it, and through that, I believe we learned how to be more independent and resilient. I have some great memories from those times, like building snow forts, racing to the soccer field together before the older grades did, seeing Macbeth performed by our fellow students, receiving a pop and doing something fantastic, and putting it on the wall in our foyer, and most memorable, our grade 6 field trip to the Toronto Zoo. By the end of 6th grade, we were the champions once again. 
However, the chapter has not yet come to an end. Once again, everything changed as we entered the Indian Division, but this time we could adapt in the blink of an eye because the knowledge and skills were developed along the way. We were given far more opportunities to explore and put ourselves out there with our academics, sports, and music. Being older students in the school, we were also given the opportunity to develop our leadership skills and we took on new roles with honor. In grade 7, we were helping with lunches by living in the classrooms and helping in the kindergarten large during lunch breaks. All was great until Friday the 13th of 2020 hit. None of us have started the curveball that we've done us as we finish our grade 7 year. But the one thing I would do know is that these 15 months have been a true test of our patience, perseverance, and emotions. We are the champions, as will be known as first class to experience a full year of COVID-19 disruptions. We conquered it all, choosing full remote learning or in-person learning, and for many of us switching back and forth between platforms far too many times. Figuring out how to access Google Meets when everyone else is already in the meet, following timetables, and knowing when synchronous and asynchronous was learning was scheduled, and remembering to turn our cameras on and off. We are still a lot of things normal, like our connections with peers, laughing together during lunch breaks, sports, band, and being able to give a high five, a fist bump, or a hug to our friends. It has been heartbreaking to be placed in a situation where our last opportunities to celebrate our accomplishments and triumphs were taken from us. However, I challenge you all to conceptualize our predicament in a slightly different light. I believe that this pandemic has given us the most important lessons of our school career. Life is full of surprises, but we have to believe that the past 10 years have provided us with the knowledge and tools to navigate any curveball the world throws at us. It is important to recognize all the people that helped us get through today. Thank you so much to all of our IP staff who brought us to the people we are in such a fundamental way. Thank you to our parents and family who supported us along the way and helped us with our homework, even if they didn't fully really understand it. And finally, thank you to all the friends who gave us a reason to laugh no matter what we're going through. Thank you, for, thank you for allowing me this honor of saying farewell to Byron Matthew, but now to the people and memories who changed us and made us who we are today. Thank you and congratulations, Bobcats. We did it. For your thoughtful, valid Victorian speech, Maya, and thank you for representing our graduation class so well. It is now time for all of our grade 8 students to be honored. At the time they are recognized, a few students may also be recognized for their various achievements that they have earned during this unusual year. Graydon has attended Byron Northview for the past nine years. Next year, he will be attending St. Thomas Aquinas. At high school, he's looking forward to meeting new people, and he's hoping to work towards university. Isabella has attended Byron Northview for the past 10 years. Her favorite memory was going to the safety village and driving the little cars. Next year, she'll be attending Saunders. At high school, she's looking forward to going in person and meeting new people, as well as meeting up with old friends. Tyla has attended Byron Northview the past 10 years. Her favorite memories were the first days of any school year. She would always be so excited to see which of her classmates would be in her class and what teacher she'd get. Next year, she will be attending STA. At high school, she's excited for the bond she will get to make with her teachers and other students. Ewan has attended Byron Northview for the past six years. Living through this past year has taught him to appreciate how much better going to physical school is. Next year, he will be attending Oak Ridge. After high school, he's hoping to work towards being a mechanic or an electrician in the military. Nolan has attended Byron Northview for the past six years. He would like to thank Mr. McIntyre for getting him prepared for high school. Next year, he will be attending St. Thomas Aquinas, and at high school, he's looking forward to meeting new people and enjoying new experiences. Henry has attended Byron Northview for 10 years. He'd like to thank all his friends that he was able to spend time with and that he got to know at Byron Northview. Next year, he will be attending STA, and at high school, he would like to talk to anyone he can and try to get the most out of his education. Cole has attended Byron Northview for the past 10 years. Living through this past year has taught him that he should never complain about having to go to school. Next year, he will be attending STA. At high school, he's looking forward to the new programs and a different atmosphere. Kaylin has attended Byron Northview for the past 10 years. They would like to thank Natalia, Isabella P, and Aurora for helping her get through this past year. Next year, they will be attending Saunders. At high school, they are looking forward to meeting new people. Samantha has attended Byron Northview for the past nine years. Her favorite memory is playing snow soccer with her friends in grades five, six, and seven. She also enjoyed the field trip to the Toronto Zoo. Next year, she will be attending Saunders Secondary School, 
and at high school she is looking forward to making friends and participating in the STEM program. Samantha has been awarded a Citizenship Award. Prabhjot has attended Byron North for the past two and a half years. Her favorite memory was when she went to the Toronto Zoo. Next year she will be attending Saunders. After high school she is hoping to work towards engineering. Ben has attended Byron Northview for the past four years. His favorite memory was winning the volleyball game that sent them to cities. Next year, he will be attending Oak Ridge Secondary School. At high school, he is looking forward to playing on different sports teams. Miles has attended Byron Northview for the past four years. His favorite memory was the grade six play when he was the narrator. Next year, he will be attending Oak Ridge High School. At high school, he is looking forward to joining school sports teams such as basketball. Adam has attended Byron Northview for the past five years. He is proud of his grades and academic progress. Next year, he will be attending Oak Ridge. After high school, he is hoping to work towards a degree. Chantel has attended Byron Northview for the past two years. She is proud of the tremendous progress she has made with her organization skills. Next year, she will be attending Saunders. After high school, she is hoping to work towards having a career that she enjoys and is excited about. Owen has attended Byron Northview for the past five years. Living through this past year has taught him how to work from home and keep himself on task. Next year, Owen will be attending Oak Ridge. After high school, he is hoping to work towards a degree in astronomy. Rachel has attended Byron Northview for the past six years. She would like to thank her grade six teacher, Mrs. Hammond, for lifting her motivation and confidence to learn. Next year, she will be attending Oak Ridge. At high school, she is looking forward to making new friends and having more freedom. Rachel has been awarded the Greg Webb Music Award. Matthew has attended Byron Northview for the past 10 years. Living through this past year has taught him to appreciate friends and the little things in life. Next year, he will be attending Saunders. After high school, he is hoping to work towards a job he enjoys. Anna has attended Byron Northview for the past six years. Her favorite memory was the grade six field trip to the Toronto Zoo. Next year, she will be attending St. Thomas Aquinas. At high school, she is looking forward to meeting new people and getting involved with the school. Allie has attended Byron Northview for the past 10 years. Her favorite memory was the school play Macbeth. Next year, she will be attending St. Thomas Aquinas. After high school, she is hoping to work towards going to university to become a veterinarian. Graham has attended Byron Northview for the past 10 years. His favorite memory was participating in the grade six Shakespeare play Macbeth. Next year, he will be attending St. Thomas Aquinas. At high school, he is looking forward to new experiences. Adam has attended Byron Northview for the past year. His favorite memory was when we played Heads Up. Next year, he will be attending Saunders. After high school, he is hoping to work towards Fanshawe College and becoming a baker. Adam has been awarded the Harley Rath Award. Hudson has attended Byron Northview for the past seven years. Living through this past year has taught him that he has to be able to adapt to anything. Next year, he will be attending St. Thomas Aquinas. At high school, he is looking forward to joining different sports teams. Ashlyn has attended Byron Northview for the past eight years. She would like to thank all of the teachers who have taught her that you can find the positive in any situation and for being by her side through her journey at Byron Northview. Next year, she will be attending A.B. Lucas. At high school, she looks forward to the joy and experience that high school will bring. Ashlyn has been awarded a Citizenship Award. Mason has attended Byron Northview for the past eight years. His favorite memory was acting in the grade six school play with the other grade six class. Next year, he will be attending St. Thomas Aquinas. At high school, Mason is looking forward to meeting new people and continuing on to university or college. Nick has attended Byron Northview for the past four years. His favorite memory was the grade six school play. Next year, he will be attending St. Thomas Aquinas. After high school, he is hoping to work towards going to university and studying math and physics. 
Liam has attended Byron Northview for the past nine years. Living through this past year has taught him not to take anything for granted. Next year, he will be attending Oak Ridge. At high school, he's looking forward to meeting new people and experiencing new academic challenges. Maeve has attended Byron Northview for the past four years. Her favorite memory was participating in the Christmas shopping spree fundraiser. Next year, she will be attending Saunders. At high school, she is looking forward to making new friends. Ian has attended Byron Northview for the past 10 years. His favorite memory was his time in Mrs. Hammond's class in grade five and six. Next year, he will be attending Oak Ridge. At high school, he is looking forward to having the high school experience. Nate has attended Byron Northview for the past 10 years. His favorite memory was the first couple of weeks of kindergarten when he got to meet all his new friends. Next year, he will be attending St. Thomas Aquinas. At high school, he is looking forward to meeting new people. Lima has attended Byron Northview for the past five years. Her favorite memory was going to the Toronto Zoo with her class and friends. Next year, she will be attending Saunders. At high school, she is looking forward to joining clubs and teams. Shabir has attended Byron Northview for the past four years. Living through this past year has taught him to respect his teachers more as they are working very hard to protect everyone from COVID-19. Next year, he will be attending Saunders. At high school, he is looking forward to making new friends, attending sports games, and passing with honors. Madison has attended Byron Northview for the past eight years. She is proud of how far she has come with her learning skills. Next year, she will be attending Saunders. At high school, she is looking forward to making new friends and having more opportunities. Elise has attended Byron Northview for the past four years. Her favorite memory was participating in the Christmas shopping spree in grade six. Next year, she will be attending Saunders. After high school, she is hoping to work toward becoming an astronomer. Lujan has attended Byron Northview for the past year. She's particularly proud of the amount of work she has done. Next year, she'll be attending St. Thomas Aquinas, where she's looking forward to meeting new people. Lauren has attended Byron Northview for the past three years. She says that living through this past year had many positives and negatives, as she loves spending time with family, but misses having a social life. Next year, she will be attending Saunders, where she's looking forward to meeting new people and the little more freedom you get. Diana has attended Byron Northview for the past eight years. Her favorite memory was going to the Toronto Zoo in grade six. Next year, she will be attending Saunders. After high school, she's hoping to work towards going to school to practice medicine or becoming something in the medical field. Sasha has attended Byron Northview for the past 10 years. Living through this past year has taught him that even when it seems that the world is ending, even when you think you can't finish, we will always push through it. You just have to put in the work. Next year, he will be attending Saunders where he's looking forward to meeting new people and finding his calling in life. Sasha is also the recipient of the Saunders Award. Ewan has attended Byron Northview for the past 10 years. His favorite memory was recess in grade four when he played rock, paper, scissors. Next year, he will be attending Saunders. At high school, he's looking forward to being in a bigger school. Maya has attended Byron Northview for the past five years. She would like to thank all her teachers for their hard work. They've taught her intelligence, perseverance, and most importantly, kindness. Next year, she will be attending STA. After high school, she is hoping to work towards getting into medical school. In addition to being our valedictorian, Maya is the recipient of the OPC Leadership Award. Aurora has attended Byron Northview for the past two years. Her favorite memory was playing on the volleyball team. Next year, she will be attending St. Thomas Aquinas. At high school, she's looking forward to having more options. Logan has attended Byron Northview for the past eight years. His favorite memory was going to the Toronto Zoo. Next year, he will be attending Oak Ridge. And at high school, he's looking forward to making new friends and trying new things. Karis has attended Byron Northview for the past six years. Living through the past year has taught her not to take anything for granted because one day it could all go away. Next year, she'll be attending STA. At high school, she's looking forward to meeting new people and trying some of the things that are out of her comfort zone. 
Spencer is attended by Renor through for the past five years. Living through this past year has taught him to take nothing for granted and just enjoy what you have. Next year, he'll be attending STA, where he is looking forward to the sports teams. Adam is attended by our Northview for the past 10 years. His favorite memory was the intense basketball during gym classes. Next year, he will be attending St. Thomas Aquinas, where he's looking forward to the hockey program. Nolan has attended by our Northview for the past 10 years. His favorite memory was playing on the volleyball team last year. Next year, he will be attending Oak Ridge, and at high school, he's looking forward to playing on the baseball team with his brother. Natalia has attended Byron Northview for the past year. Next year, they will be attending Oak Ridge and the IB program. At high school, they are looking forward to happiness and peace of mind and maybe a good sleeping schedule. Natalia has been awarded the Greg Webb Music Award. Jacob has attended Byron Northview for the past 10 years. His favorite memory was laughing with his friends and having fun. Next year, he will be attending St. Thomas Aquinas and at high school is looking forward to making new memories with his friends. Jacob has been awarded the Harley Rath Award. Lucas has attended Byron Northview for seven years. His favorite memory was when we watched the outsiders in the gym. Next year, he will be attending St. Thomas Aquinas. At high school, he is looking forward to the freedom and is hoping to work towards a job in the trades. Isabella has attended Byron Northview for the past 10 years. Her favorite memory was making the biggest gingerbread person ever in kindergarten. Next year, she will be attending Saunders. At high school, she's looking forward to meeting new people and having new experiences. Isabella has been awarded a citizenship award. Ryan has attended Byron Northview for the past eight years. Living through this past year has taught him that school can be fun. When COVID hit, online was cool, then now it's not. Next year, he'll be attending St. Thomas Aquinas, and at high school is looking forward to more freedom and working towards becoming a billionaire. Spencer has attended Byron Northview for the past 10 years. Living through this past year has taught him that you appreciate things way more when you don't have them, so always appreciate what you have. Next year he will be attending Oak Ridge, and after high school he is hoping to work towards university. Costi has attended Byron Northview for the past 10 years. His favorite memory was making new friends. Next year he will be attending Saunders, at high school, he's looking forward to every course involving automobiles. Mercedes has attended Byron Northview for the past 10 years. Her favorite memory was going out for lunch with her friends and going to the Toronto Zoo. Next year, she will be attending STA. She is looking forward to meeting different people and working towards a nursing degree or a master's in social work. Ben has attended Byron Northview for the past 10 years. Living through this past year has taught him a lot of math. Next year, he will be attending St. Thomas Aquinas, and at high school, he is looking forward to meeting new people. Caden has attended Byron Northview for the past 10 years. Living through this past year has taught him that we don't realize how much our friends mean to us until we can't constantly hang out with them. Next year, he will be attending Oak Ridge. At high school, he's looking forward to meeting new people and all the high school sports. Rachel has attended Byron Northview for the past eight years. She would like to thank her friends and family for making her life this year better through COVID and quarantine. Next year, she will be attending Saunders. At high school, she's looking forward to meeting new people and high school in general. Aiden has attended Byron Northview for the past 10 years. He's proud of the goals he accomplished at this school. Next year, he will be attending STA. At high school, he's looking forward to the sports teams and activities. Aiden has been awarded the Byron Northview 150th Reunion Award. Now sit back and relax because Mrs. Mr. Dixon and Mrs. Abulatala are about to take us on a trip down memory lane. And you just might see someone you know. Time to take out the Kleenex, folks. Your little hands wrapped a Round my finger and it's so quiet in the world tonight Your little eyelids flutter cause you're dreaming So I tuck you in, turn on your favorite nightlight To you, everything's funny You 
got nothing to regret. I'd give all I have, honey, if you could stay like that. Oh, darling, don't you ever grow up? Don't you ever grow up? Just stay this little. Oh, darling, don't you ever grow up? Don't you ever grow up? It could stay this simple. I won't let nobody hurt you. Won't let no one break your heart. No, no one will desert you. Just try to never grow up. And never grow up. You're in the car on the way to the movies, and you're mortified. Your mom's dropping you off. At 14, there's just so much you can't do, and you can't wait to move out someday and call your own shots. But don't make her drop you off around the block. Remember that she's getting older too, and don't lose the way that you dance around in your PJs, getting ready for school. Oh, darling, don't you ever go? Don't you ever go? Just stay this little. Oh, darling, don't you ever grow up? Don't you ever grow up? It could stay this simple, and no one's ever burned you. Nothing's ever left you scarred. And even though you want to, just try to never grow up. Take pictures in your mind of your childhood.、Room. Memorize what it sounded like when your dad gets home. Remember the footsteps, remember the words said, and know your little brother's favorite songs. I just realized everything I have is someday gonna be gone. So here I am in my new apartment in a big city. They just dropped me off. It's so much colder than I thought it would be, so I tuck myself in and turn my night light on. Wish I'd never grown up. Wish I'd never.
proud When you look back and see how far we've come It was our time to shine And nobody could pull us down They thought they'd see us fall But we stood so tall And no, we won't
的。